face of Diaz's aggression. Diaz showing respect, but ripping Marquez with another left hook. Three body shots from Marquez. Diaz goes in with the right hand. This is going to be a hellacious war. The well-known cultural Mexican tradition of willing to mix it up. And are they ever? What a big left hook by Diaz. Marquez trying to fire back. Lands a right cross and a left hook. Round one is an all-out war. I get the hunch that Marquez is going to need to stay off the ropes, Emmanuel. Yes, and I don't think he's going to do that. And the way that Diaz is punching, he's got his head down more. Well, he's getting better leverage in the exchanges, and Marquez's head is up more. Where he can maximize his strength. Big left hook. Staggers Marquez. Marquez in trouble. More than 30 punches in the round. Big left hook by Diaz. Straight right hand by Marquez. Diaz jabbing and hunting. Marquez going to the body and coming back up. Missed the right hand. What a round. Yeah, we say Diaz driving in, as we call him, left hook right there. And had probably more effect than it, it would have had, except because he had him back and back. And he's maximizing his weight on every punch by lunging forward. But you have to wonder about those reflexes at the age of 35. <laughs> and particularly given the wars he's been in. Diving board all at once. But he's looked really good in the first couple rounds against a guy who's looked just a tiny bit better. This is the Juan Diaz that had the boxing world buzzing before his loss to Nate Campbell. Well, then, I what a win. What determination. Good luck to. The last time I saw three judges go to the floor. Very, very rare. Back to this fight. Juan Diaz led the more clean set. Six of the score right there. Three to nothing, Diaz. You know, I understand the harder punches. Well, I think he might be a harder puncher. Has been brilliant so far at finding those moments when Marquez's right hand is slightly dropped. He's landed several plus left hooks. Yeah, and he gets maximum level. He hunches his body forward in a Joe Frazier type style. Why should a fight like this even be scored? Just let him fight to the finish. Marquez is in a lot of clean effective combination, particularly at the end of the round. Diaz. Diaz again, imposing his will against Marquez on the ropes. Now Marquez will look to land a three or four point combination, and he nails Diaz with two uppercuts in a row. Whoever throws more body punches may ultimately be the winner in the fight. Well, I tell you what, this is going to be a tough fight by the way. On our competing, a competitor network, Showtime. One difference. Uppercut, uppercut. How many times you see that? Left hook, left hook. Back into the ropes. All out war. <laughs> Diaz eats a hard right hand, lands a hard right hand. Stay off them ropes. When he goes on the ropes, Juan Diaz just pummels him like you're watching right here. When the fight goes into the center of the ring, Juan went over. Juan went over. <laughs> Straight right hand. Left hook, left hook, body shot. Left hook to the body, all by Juan Diaz. Two straight right hands by Marquez. Two more big left hooks by Diaz. Drives Marquez back against the ropes. Lands a straight right hand of his own. Marquez trying to counter again. Diaz keeping the pressure on. He listened to Ronnie between rounds. He's not gonna let the Mexican rest. Now this, economic conditions are helping to bring boxing back. Because he considers Diaz a half Mexican, he's American Mexican. What action. This is amazing. Marquez is a good defensive fighter, but Diaz overwhelms his defense, overtaxes it kind of dire way here against Marquez. Well, we told you how Marquez adjusts and yeah, comes Mar on. Mar and Mar Diaz, Mar Diaz got caught with a left hook and he looks stunned. 25 seconds to go. Can the great technician 
find yeah. a way. Okay? No, don't worry about that cut. The cut is okay. Here you see Marquez look, mixing up his punches, punches to the outside and between the gloves. I think that left uppercut between the gloves right there was a shot that caused the cut. You can see the blood just start to spurt. And here is a left hook that he catches with the head, which he just simply didn't see the punch. And it's a, it's a punch that hurts as always when you didn't see. Because they don't know the catch. It, it'll be the first thing he's done in the fight. Though Marquez is the much more experienced. In fact, it's Diaz who's had more experience fighting in his hometown. And he's supposedly the stronger man. And he's he hurt. Is. A huge uppercut. Down goes Diaz. Probably go back to fighting. A spirit fighter would probably clinch, but I don't think that's what he's going to do. And look at Marquez go to the body. Look at him go to the body to try to set up the finish. And what a right hand. And that will be that. What you just saw was a really good young fighter knocked out by a great old fighter. Knocked down, Emmanuel. Right hand, but what amazed me was the precision and the accuracy of the punches from Marquez. He didn't miss too many punches, and he was punching from all angles, even as he was twisting and turning. The mark of an experienced fighter. A straight right hand, and then the uppercut produced that first knockdown. The second knockdown is really almost a formality on a brilliant right uppercut. The one thing that Marquez Set up did, by the body shots. Marquez mixed up his punches. He threw punches over the top, and then he threw punches up underneath. The Which sheer is, professionalism. Yeah. Good grounds to say that. Well, let me say this. That's as sensational as any performance Manny Pacquiao's ever produced. Juan Manuel Dinamita.